Hey, this is Farmer Teacher on Farming Simulator 22. We're on the Fox Farms map, and I just want to show you uh, this cow pen. Now, the farm, base farm, does not come with this, uh, but you can purchase it. It's going to take you a little bit of money unless you're on Farm Manager because it's uh, $786,000. So, what we're going to do is go in here to the map. When you start out, When you start out, you have this area, this little farm area right here, this field number three, and also field 25 here. So if you do the new farmer mode, that's what you're gonna have. If you go to farm manager, of course, you don't have any of that. What I'm gonna do is go over here and purchase this for $786,000. Quite a chunk of change, but it's, uh, it's well worth it because you can pay you know, seven hundred thousand dollars for a, a, a farm barn with the ro feeding robot. So, all right, let me just show you this real quick, quick overview. This area here is three cow pens in one, three cow pens in one, and you see here on the map, you get the cow pens here, this silage area, this storage sheds right here. Uh, and you also get this grassy field number twenty-six. So you can start, you know, making grass, which then would turn into, you know, hay or silage or whatever. Quick little look around here. So this area here, this is unique to this particular one and it's, it's an open silage bunker. Open silage bunker. So what you do is you put your grass in here in strips. Uh, you know, you'd unload it from there to here and then from there to here, compact that, then cover it, it will turn to silage. Now, I did find there were a few glitches in it because every now and then, uh, one of them wouldn't uncover. Maybe I didn't get it full enough or something, but it covered, it worked, it fermented, became silage, would never let me uncover it, so it's kind of strange. Uh, now, you can't just remove these. This area is pretty unusable other than using it for silage. You can park vehicles on it, uh, but if you're not making silage with it, you can't add a, you know, another structure there because it's going to be, it, you can't get rid of those. Got these cool barns over here. It's for storing hay, silage. Uh, it's listed as a hay barn, but you could put a, uh, or shed, I mean, not a barn. And you can store bales in here of whatever type, or you could put vehicles in there. So it's kind of cool. Be careful removing that. I'll show you that at the end of the video, but uh, yeah, it could cause some issues. All right, let's open this gate. Go inside here. All right, when you first come in the gate to the right there, this is your manure heap and it stores the manure for all three pins all three pins so you don't have another manure heap down there it's all right here which is good so you can either you know collect that with something and go sell it or what i do is i get a manure spreader and then what you want to do is go to your settings here and set this on manure heap then it's going to pull from there and automatically, you know, spray it from your spreader. Over here, you have a slurry tank. Holds 135,000 liters. Not really enough because it fills up, uh, it fills up quickly once you get 200 cows in here. This holds 200 cows. So, uh, once again, you go to the menu there, put your slurry on large cow barn, and it's gonna draw from there. Now, what I did is I renamed these cow barn one, two, and three. So when I'm in this menu, I can tell the difference because right now you cannot tell the difference as far as drawing your slurry. So uh, let's see real quick. Since it's a cow pen and not a barn, even though it says that on there, uh, you have to add water right here. Okay. And then this is where you put your food and you're going to get your milk from over here. Come over here to fill up your milk tank. 
okay? Now, I was looking at this thing like, where do you put the straw? Well, it's not labeled, but you put it under here. Okay, you put it under here. So you can either use one of those things that sprays the straw. Uh, if you go to uh, the menu under animals, I'll just show you real quick. All the way over. These two things right here spray straw. So you have to put bales in there and it'll spray it under there. Or you can use uh, a truck or a forage wagon, anything that has straw in it, and just pull under here and dump it. The overhead's a little bit low. You got to be careful. Uh, I pull up on this side a little bit. It's a little bit higher than this side. Uh, and it goes a little nuts when you try to dump it, even with the power push trailer. Okay, for field or for pin two, this part is set up the same. You put straw in here, you get your milk there. You're gonna go down here and this is where your, you know, this is where you would get your uh, animals, load them, unload them. This is where you put your food, but your water is over here. That's kind of strange. So right here to this side is your water. I don't know why they did it different, but they did. And then for three, number three, your water is right there. And then of course your straw, your silage, and then your food is down here for number three. So that's pretty self-explanatory. But it was confusing to me where to put the straw. And at first, uh, the water and how it split up between, you know, one, two, and three. So that's how it split up. Once again, your straw goes under here. And that's pretty much it. Now let me go show you, we're gonna jump outside here. I'm just gonna show you if you try to take these things out. So you would wanna save your game before you start and turn auto save off before you started, you know, experimenting with some of this stuff. But I'm just gonna show you. So I tried to remove these things. If you come over here, and you can get $75,000. It's all decorations. Okay, you take the decorations out. Wow, I got 75 grand, but look over here. All this is gone. It still works. Uh, you can still get your milk here. You know, your silage over there, your manure, you dump your straw there. Everything works, but it doesn't have the look, you know, that you had before. So that's something you'd have to decide. Uh, now you can take out these sheds so this area right here is still not usable if you go to try to put something there you say we're going to put a well, dairy would make sense well you can't because it collides with another object which is that open silage the silage thing is still there so, so you can't put anything there you can squeeze something right in this corner here and you can remove these. If you take those out, well, you don't get a whole lot of money from them, but it does allow you to put something then in that space. You know, you can put a dairy there then or something. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you, kind of how this thing works. And once again, it holds 200, 200, and 200 cows for a total of 600. Uh, but it's a great uh, little deal there. And you get that grassy field above it. You're looking at the map. You get this, when you purchase it, you get this field here uh, with grass already planted in it. So it gives you a head start there. So that's all I want to show you. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And share the channel if you like what you see. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.